But one of the things that you were mentioning was that to see you on a normal basis, you have a three month wait. Is that um, as walking in the door as a patient or is that? No, no, as, uh, obviously acute strokes, we see people the instant they arrive. But for second opinion or evaluation of stroke victims that are looking at you know, prevention strategies and all, um, three months is sort of like the longest. Um, but uh, I, I am an academic uh, neurologist, so I see patients a half day a week in clinic. Most of my work is done on the inpatient side. So um, half day a week doesn't leave a lot of opportunity to see people. And so um, what we think is the best approach is to really get um, uh, information on preventative treatment to the private doctors who see patients all the time and be able to give a consistent message to patients. That's what our real focus is. Well, in the Bay Area, there are 26 certified stroke centers. So that many, really. That many. Wow. And there, there was some work done for designation so that people would actually go to the nearest designated stroke right. center. We've been involved in that. Yeah. You have. Mm -hmm. uh, on a statewide level or more on a Bay area, area level in that area um, when you were talking I, at, on at one of the symposiums that I happened to, to see you speak at you were really talking about the importance of uh, paramedics being a part of the, this process can you talk a little bit about uh, the value of paramedics really understanding the dynamics of strokes and the symptoms they're, they're absolutely instrumental because um, any delay that occurs <clears throat> compounds upon itself. So if it takes a while for the paramedic to realize that there's a neurologic problem, and as a consequence of that, or if they don't know it, they may not take the patient to the nearest stroke center. If that patient shows up to a non-stroke center hospital, there'll be long delays in treatment before they can be transferred to a primary stroke center. So the first decision that needs to be made is in the field, the patient has a stroke or they don't. If they do have a stroke, then go to your nearest stroke center. That, that's a me mechanism for saving lives. So if your paramedic doesn't know how to recognize a stroke, that's a problem. Most paramedics now are getting training in this. And I did research back in the early 90s on this in particular. Paramedics are excellent at being able to detect this. They want to do it, they want to know about it, they learn about it in their, um, in their school and they continue they have continuing medical education to also learn this. So it's my opinion that the paramedics are absolutely key in this. Once they label a person as having a stroke, everybody else downstream says, oh, it's an emergency and things move along. So to me, they actually hold the whole, they hold all the cards. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's absolutely important to it's train them and to look at their quality, identify when they've, uh, misidentified a stroke, give them credit when they have identified a stroke. The frustration of the paramedics in San Francisco before the stroke center concept was that they would bring patients in saying, I know this guy has a stroke. In fact, I can tell you why he's having a stroke for the following reasons. And they would show up in the, in the emergency position and would say, you know, go away paramedic. And, and they said, Not but, showing but, but, adequate risk. Exactly. This guy's guy with a stroke. You know, we'll all make the diagnosis. And now, actually, paramedics call up and say, we've got a stroke. The ER docs say, I'm sure he's right, or she's right, because they always are right. And that's nice. It really makes them part of the team, and they save lives by speeding things up. So now that we have most of the, most of the hospitals in the Bay Area are stroke centers, the proximity issue is not no longer really a political issue. But there are some hospitals that really don't have the resources to do primary stroke centers, and I think in that setting you want to bypass those hospitals with a stroke. I'm going to go to a stroke center hospital in that case.